Are you guys ready for some magics? Yeah! That's right, magics with an S, because as of this morning, I know more than one routine. <laughs> Very exciting. I should note that the, the, end, the end of my set will be the dumbest magic trick you've ever seen. <laughs> Hold me accountable for that. All right, who likes baseball? Yes. You do? You like yeah. baseball? Uh, do you know baseball at all? <laughs> all right, can you read English? Yeah. Great. <laughs> So uh, look through there. I want you, all I want you to do is verify that those are all different cards. What's your name? Austin. Austin? Oh. Is Austin is the eyes and ears of the audience here verifying that I have a, a fantastic collection of very famous baseball players in my baseball card collection. While he does that, I'll entertain you with some visual stimulus here with a rope. Now, if you want to do magic with a rope, you need a magic wand. And I brought one of those with me as well. Just your average, typical magician's magic wand. I got this from a witch down a long cavernous hallway. Yeah. I looked at it, I said, it should be mine. The witch said, it will cost you a price. I said, how much? She said, $25. And so I gave her $25 and she rang it into the Walmart cash register. <laughs> I bought the wife at Walmart, sir. Okay. So, all different players? Yep. You see anyone? Oh, before COVID, I would spit this forward for comedic effect. <laughs> but I won't do that. Did you see any players in there that you like? I think there's a bunch of different players in there, right? Yeah. Ted Williams is in there, right? Yeah. Ted Williams, his head's still in a freezer, Ted Williams. You know that? <laughs> yeah, he froze his head for cryogenic purposes. And uh, we've now created more wealth and advanced science to a place that we never thought imaginable. Billionaires are launching their own rockets to space, and no one has plans for Ted Williams' head. <laughs> <laughs> All right? Uh, in the words of my three-year-old, Fanolo. There we go. <laughs> All right. So you happy with those there? Yeah. Okay, great. So give me those back to me here. I'm gonna get these out to you. You will get this deck in your hand. I'm gonna put these rubber bands back on here. And if this deck makes it to you, what I want you to do is leave the rubber bands on there. All right, you're gonna leave the rubber bands on the card. This is my prized baseball card collection, so also be careful the corners as well. But in these baseball cards, the names are on the top and bottom, okay? So if these cards make it out to you, you simply wanna to flip to one random spot in here and see there's this Phil Necro right there, just a random spot in there, Ozzy Smith, okay? So these are things you wanna do. Now in order to get these out to you, I have to use the most beautiful object anyone has ever seen. Okay. All right, so with this deck, I'm gonna get this out to you guys here, also with use of my fishing pole. I am the mind noodler. There you go, open that there. And if you guys thought I was overcompensating with my knife. <laughs> you like baseball, sir? Stand up, 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 up. Reach in there and flip to a random baseball player for me, will you? Just keep, remember the name, keep it to yourself, and stay standing. Got it? Great. Put it in there. All right. Uh, stay standing for me, sir. Let's see. Anybody feel like, do you like baseball here? You? Sometimes. All right. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Noted. All right. Got a player? Yeah. Okay, great. Stay standing for me, please. Standing for me, please. See back here. See you in the back there. Stand up. This is the thing. So I love baseball. My grandfather actually owned, uh, great grandfather, owned a minor league baseball team in Jersey City. Jersey City Skeeters, any fans? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> lies. 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 In fact, People in my family once gave a baseball scout named Jack Dunn, a uh, guy who's hard on his luck, uh, money to go down to Baltimore to scout a uh, guy who could pitch with both arms, pitching in an orphanage. And that player's name was Babe Ruth. So I like to say that if it weren't for my family, there'd be no Babe Ruth. My family has told me to stop saying that. <laughs> All right, so uh, four of you have baseball cards, yes? Oh, three. Okay. <laughs> 
Okay, great. Stand up for me, please. Yeah, you did a great job. Just flip, flip to a player there. Got it? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Okay. Got it? We can do better. We can do better than that. Yeah. No one's ever hit me right on the hand before. <laughs> so when I was young, I saw this movie called Field of Dreams, right? Yeah. Kevin Costner, he, he, he's a farmer, and he mows down part of his cornfield so that ghosts of baseball players can come play baseball in his cornfield. And I love this movie. If, I felt that the world that was not real when I watched it. I still remember the sunlight hitting my face coming out of the movie theater in Eatontown, New Jersey. And I went home and I looked at my own baseball card collection and I kind of pictured in my own backyard, maybe these players would come out and play some baseball. Sometimes I can still picture some of the games that I would play, like maybe, maybe there's a pitch by Tom Seaver and there's a, a crack of the bat by Pete Rose and heading back, back, back towards the wall is Willie Mays for the out. And there he goes, just a cannon arm down to home plate, Johnny Bench tagging back. If I said the name of the player you selected, please grab a seat. Your name? My name's Tiffany. Tiffany? Mm -hmm. What the hell, Tiffany? <laughs> Clearly you're trying to mess with my show. Get up here, Tiffany. Get up here, Tiffany. <laughs> Tiffany, I did not say the player you selected. No. It means I will have to noodle even harder, OK? By taking away one sense, I enhance another. I learned that by reading Daredevil comic books. <laughs> Tiffany, concert on that player? Okay. Oh, is this like a super famous baseball player? Do you know the player? No. Do you remember the name? Yes. Focus on the name. Okay. R, is R, is R an initial in the name? Yes. It is? Mm-hmm. A? Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, I have that backwards. Yes, Tiffany? Nope. Oh, wait, yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Say the name of the player out loud. Alex Rodriguez. Alex Rodriguez. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Tiffany, we're psychically connected. It's pretty exciting. But you didn't catch the cards. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's part of the physical realm, Tiffany. Okay. We're now in a different realm. I promise you, mentally, I am catching those cards, OK? But I'm right. throwing them better. Yes, so. you're mentally throwing it as well. Okay. We are psychically connected. Uh, we can show the audience right now how psychically connected we are. We're going to say your favorite color on three, out loud at the same time. Ready? One, two, three. Ye Blue. Yellow. <laughs> yeah. Blue, yellow. Yeah. Together we make green. Yeah. Um, let's do your favorite book on three, Tiffany. Okay, favorite book on three. One, two, three. Harry Potter. I can't read, Tiffany. So. Um, <laughs> Tell you what, I'm going to send you an image of an animal, OK? I'm going to send you an image of an animal. I'm going to close your eyes. I'm going to send you a signal. In fact, don't even tell me the animal. I just want you to know, just let me know when you're receiving my signal, OK, Tiffany? OK. <laughs> Am I supposed to say yes now? Tiffany. Yes. Are you receiving my signal? Good. Were you thinking of an animal? Yeah. Good. Tiffany, what was that animal? A duck. Correct! <laughs> <laughs> Tiffany and I are of one mind, of one mind. <laughs> Tell you what. Tiffany, you haven't done psychic experiments very often, so I grabbed a notebook from a pharmacy and I wrote down a bunch of total random words, a bunch of random words for <laughs> Tiffany to choose from, OK? <laughs> Tiffany, are you right-handed or left-handed? Right-handed. Right hand, put your left hand like you're going to hold a tray. Perfect, OK? And now, why don't you, with your right hand, you know, middle, top, whatever, you're going to pinch to one page. Just pinch open to one page. Got it? Yeah. OK, great. You have an image there? The word, yeah. OK, close the thing, just drop it on the ground. The whole thing? The yeah, the whole thing. OK, great. Tiffany, you're going to send me that image, and I'm going to draw that image, OK?
I'm ready for your signal. <laughs> okay. Send it? You're sending it? Yeah. Okay. Oh, wait. I'm what? Oh, yeah. There you go. Okay. <laughs> Don't, same thing the whole time, yes? Yeah. Not, okay. You're not, you're not changing, are you? No. Okay. <laughs> Tiffany, are you, I know, they, they told me, to, the host said treat me well, yeah? <laughs> oh, yeah. So you're not, you're not trying to send me something like dirty or perverted or anything, right? Fair enough, Tiffany. <laughs> okay, uh, okay, send, send me the image, okay? Okay. Is this something that would happen like uh, outdoors, maybe? Is this an outdoor activity? Sometimes. Okay, sometimes, that's not helpful at all. Okay. Hey, if someone else is sending me a psychic image right now, please stop. <laughs> You're interfering with Tiffany and I. <laughs> Tiffany, what I'm about to show you might not be A++++, okay? We're dealing with your psychic ability and my drawing ability. Both are suspect, yeah? Okay. So if I'm even close, I want you to say, you nailed it, my noodler, and this whole place would go wild for you, okay? Okay. <laughs> what were you thinking of, Tiffany? An ice cream cone. <laughs> We're psychically connected, Tiffany! <laughs> Tiffany, you came out here to see a Vegas magician. I'm gonna autograph this for you. Tiffany, do you have like a home office or someplace prominent you can show this? I can put it in my husband's office. Great, okay. Do you want me to put it to him or to you? To me, I'm To you, okay, woman. great. To Tiffany, two F's, A and Y? Okay, great. And, uh, you know, autographed by a famous Vegas magician. David Copperfield. <laughs> to your husband's office. You can leave. In fact, Tiffany, Point to a total stranger. I trust our psychic abilities now. You oh, pick gosh. someone for me. Point to a total stranger here in the audience. Um, the lovely lady in the blue shirt that I... The lovely lady in the blue shirt. Come on up here. Come on up here. Hi. Hi. <laughs> uh, come on over here. Okay. Your name? Claire. Claire. Big hand for Claire, everybody. Claire, I recently went to a party and there was someone who's a master of graphology there. Okay. You know what graphology is? Yeah. What do you think it is? Graffiti. Graffiti? Is not. Is okay. not. Good guess though. <laughs> it does have to do with handwriting. Graphology is the studying of handwriting. Okay. And handwritingology is the studying of graphs. <laughs> <laughs> and in it, I was skeptical. Again, I was like, graphology, interpreting handwriting, that doesn't seem like a real practice, something you can do at all. And then I went up and I signed my signature, and sure enough, he started interpreting my signature, right? Uh -huh. He was like, uh, he was like, I bet uh, you're battling, from your handwriting, I bet you're battling hypertension and high blood pressure. He said, you might even be a candidate for type two diabetes. I said, my signature, he said, yes. He said, you might even try to be trying to figure out solutions to hair loss. I was like, you're getting that from my signature? <laughs> and I was convinced. <laughs> So, Tiffany, I want to experiment with the power of your handwriting. That's Tiffany. Yep. <laughs> I miss you, Tiffany. Claire, yes. uh, we want to experiment with, with, with your ability to use the power of your signature, okay? This is just a regular deck of cards. I'm going to shuffle, but the truth is I don't even need to shuffle them because we're not even going to worry about um, the cards themselves. This is just happens to be pieces of paper that we're using to experiment with the power of your signature. So from anywhere in here, I want you to simply just slide a card forward to 
it right here and leave it, okay? Got it? Great. We're not even going to look at it. We're just simply going to have you sign it, okay? So sign your name nice and big right across the entire face of it, okay? Good job. And then Claire, we're going to now slide that back in to the deck. Mm-hmm, that's okay. We're gonna get it right in here. We'll just throw it right in the middle there. Is that okay with you? Sounds good. And what we're gonna do from here is we'll flip it over because now we can look at them. And we don't even know, it doesn't matter which card it is. Your signature is on, it's not here. Your signature is on any one of these, okay? All right, do you believe in the power of your signature, Claire? Yes. Okay, good. We're going to move these cards all around here. Make nice room for you, Claire. Do you, want to, do you also want to mix these up, Claire? Do you want to get in this? Okay. Oh, it feels good. Oh, good. It feels good to me, too. Yeah. Okay. And Claire, you might be thinking, I've seen you doing some pretty impressive stuff tonight. I don't trust you. And that's fair. So what I want to do is I'm going to do, uh, use, the, use this knife as an instrument like I would use a pen because it's about the power of your movement, okay? So what I want you to do right now is show me the power of movement. Write your name in the, in the air. Okay, I've memorized it, all right? <laughs> and just to be sure, I'm not going to play any games. I will blindfold myself from here on out with metal. Not one. <laughs> Two. Okay, Claire. Do you want to help blindfold me with tinfoil? I have to use my mouth. I have to use my mouth. But we're fair, yeah? You can see, you can now hear me, okay? Okay. And, uh, and now, oh, it just occurred to me that, um, I'm so sorry, it just occurred to me that you guys are sitting in these chairs and you really, you can't see the, you can't see, hear the cards, okay? Okay. So now we know it's fair. <laughs> Good? What do you mean? <laughs> oh, shoot! Your card might be on the ground. <laughs> oh. And, and you don't know the card, right? No. So, um, would you recognize the signature? I'm the Mind Noodler! Oh, wait, 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 wait. I made you a promise earlier tonight. Let's see here. Uh, oh! It's so stupid, though. Do you really want to see it? It's. It's kind of, I feel like we really hit a high note with Claire. <laughs> you want to do like a little drum roll or something? 